Hi, I'm Chris from Air Windows, and hey, you can do this. But not just that. So I'm going to try to burn through this fairly quickly today. Um, I'm not feeling super well, and also this is apparently Old Home Day in the town that I live. That means that they set off the fireworks in August instead of July. And so therefore, if there are ginormous explosions on my recording, uh, I'm not being bombed, at least not for that reason. But here's what I've got to show you today. And again, I'm going to try to burn through it fairly quickly. Console, a purest console three. And it sounds like this. Now we can bounce around off of different recordings because what's going on here is that I've got three different recordings. And one is where you originally heard that music, Console Zero. And this is what Console Zero sounds like. Console 3 is another very simple algorithm for console to run on. And it's stripped down to be almost nothing. Like I had to set up those recordings using um, bit shift pan to reproduce what's built into console 0. And then I set the console 0 settings to nothing because console 3 has no controls at all. And so I'm reproducing what those do. But there's something special about console, uh, purest console 3. Again, here's console 0. Purest console 3. It's not doing that filtering that console 0 does, which can be heard even on 96K. But by the same token, Console 3 has such a simple algorithm, it's not doing any filtering distributed or otherwise, and so it incurs aliasing. And the reason I'm putting that Console 3, or Purist Console 3, sorry, don't go looking for Console 3, it's going to be Purist Console 3, is because this one is designed to run with oversampling. And I downloaded a new version of Reaper so that I could enable oversampling. Let me take a moment and show you what that looks like. In order to do oversampling, what you do is you go to the FX section, whether that be on your master bus or on the channel. And you can see that's not actually turned on because we're not listening to this through it. But if you have your uh, channel open, or whatever it is, you click on that FX section, and then you right click on the plugin that you want, you get to choose chain oversampling, which is oversampling of the whole entire channel, or instance oversampling. And we can set it to, say, 768K. And now that plugin is oversampling to 768K. Now this entire rig, and I can turn it back off again, like this. It's actually not going to do oversampling to 96K because this whole project is running at 96K. Now I ran that on the entire mix. And the entire mix of console zero was very efficient. It ran about three, four uh, percent CPU for the whole mix, 16 tracks, or nearly 16 tracks. Console zero was even more lightweight. So zero like this. Console 3, it's not doing that filtering, it's even more lightweight. Then I turned on oversampling to 768K for every single instance of console 3 in the mix. And 
you got this. And there you have it. And I might add, console zero, I'm sorry, I'm not feeling well and I'm very distracted. The fiber optic to my house has been installed, but it's not been installed inside the actual house yet. With a bit of luck, that will happen on Monday. And yeah, there's a whole bunch of other stuff. I, I'm working on a song to put out. There's just a lot going on. But uh, Purist Console 3, which is the plugin I'm putting out right now, that is, of course, Patreon supported, open source, and absolutely free. And I'm showing it to you in Reaper. And you get to use Reaper in trial mode as long as you like. I paid for mine, but I have an instance that's running on my uh, virtual Windows install and has been doing so for years just to see what would happen. And they don't seem to ever come after you. So I would, I would endorse, uh, I am a fan of Reaper, and it is letting you oversample built in to the DAW. So all this is free. You get to just use all of this going forward. Now, I am going to suggest something. Let's bounce back and forth rather quickly between two of these examples. Console 3, or Purist Console 3, oversampled the 768K for every single instance of Purist Console 3 channel and bus. Or Console 0, which is not oversampled at all. And Console 0 runs about 3 to 5% CPU. Uh, Purist Console 3 by itself runs about 3 to 5% CPU. Oversampling everything that much on the entire project got me up to about 30%. That's all. Probably would have run a little bit higher if I had oversampled the entire chain. But, I mean, I'm saying you can do that. That is something that you can do. And this is what the oversampled one sounds like. And this is what not oversampling sounds like. You can hear it's doing something. We don't actually need the slight crunchiness that it gets. But I'm still not sold on oversampling as my preferred way of going about things. This is the oversampled one again. And it is definitely Kind of softer, kind of purer. There's good things about it. But you bounce back to Console Zero, which is full on the minimal processing version. And we have a different quality going on. And that is not all about running the lack of oversampling. Because remember, it's also partly the fact that this is a different sounding console. But here's our purest console 3 without oversampling. There it is with. And although it's a simple algorithm, it's doing a lot of math to oversample all of the console plugins. Then we drop back, and all the levels are the same, to console zero. Now you don't have to like this better, but you gotta admit this is sounding different than this. Yeah, 
let's do a little outro. Firstly, the regular console, a uh, Pyrrhus console three without any oversampling. We got some sounds coming through there. But it's a very clean sort of effect. Now, with oversampling. And it's good at cleaning up some of the high notes and things. Console zero. So I hope you enjoy Purist Console 3. This is an algorithm that I came up with. It's the first time you've seen it. It will be included in the every console that I'm also putting out. I've been working, as you can see on the clip of my screen, I've got a bunch of Bricosti uh, patches to do. I put in some work on doing that. And the console versions, I have been studying what it takes to take these versions of console and swap them around in ways to see if you get things that are reminiscent of classic analog consoles. And I came up with some really interesting results. And this plugin, the Purist Console 3, is actually, I ended up calling it B-Shifty, uh, it's actually useful for things like being able to get a TG12345 emulation. I think that's the only place I ended up using that. But yeah, it's all part of the work. And I'll be putting that out too. I just thought I would put out uh, Pyrrhus Console 3 knowing that people have been really hot to get their hands on the uh, oversampling technique. Also note that just like I used this, I'm using it in Reaper and I'm using just the console plugins with really heavy oversampling. And you heard what it does. Purist console, the original Purist console is also available for doing that with. Purist Console 2, not so much because that's the one where the distributed filtering uh, plays a role. So it would probably hit the CPU a lot harder as well. But both the original Purist Console and this one, Purist Console 3, lend themselves to being used in this context. And I don't like it as much as what I'm doing with uh, say console zero and so on. That said, I if I am doing ones going forwards, unlike console zero, I will make it so that filtering things shut themselves off if you run them at 44.1k or 48k, meaning that with that stuff, it would probably have more involved with it, EQs and things, and so therefore it won't really lend itself to oversampling to 768k just because. But um, if your project setting is set much lower, it ought to uh, behave itself in that way. So stuff that I'm doing going forward should be able to adapt. Console Zero is a special case. Console Zero is the experimenting that I was doing, trying to minimize processing, which is the opposite of what oversampling does. And well, you heard it. And I'll talk to you later. And I'm going to get back to work now. Bye-bye.